Welcome to this video for student self-advising, self-registration at the Cougar Den. We are looking forward to the spring of 2019, but although I'm listening to some Christmas music, this video should be untimely, and it should work regardless of the semester that's coming up. At any point, you can register and plan for courses way down the road if need be. As changes come to the colleague student information system, I will interject updates on videos, new videos, and such. But for now, here we sit, getting ready for the spring of 2019. So at coastalbend.edu, we're going to click on the Cougar Den up at the very top of the website. We're going to log in with what is given to you as your username and password. And uh, if you don't have that information, the username for the most part, first initial, last name, and if that's taken, first initial, middle initial, last name, and then after that we get to first initial, middle initial, last name, one, two, three, and so on. Your password is your student ID. This information should have been uh, given to you in your admissions letter uh, sent to you via email and so on. If you have questions on that, please contact us at the Student Success Center, at the Cougar Center, at the Help Desk, at helpdesk at coastalbend.edu, or visit us at the IT website at coastalbend.edu forward slash IT, and we'll be glad to get you going in that direction. Now, keep in mind that as we self-register or self-advise or self-plan, uh, assuming there are no holes on any of your records. So we're going to proceed in that direction. So at the Cougar Den on the right side, we're going to click under Campus Application Student Self-Service. It takes you to a unique location. This is self-service. This is where it's all unique inside the student information system for every particular student. So we're going to go in here and go into Student Planning. And when I get here, I'm going to plan your degree and register for classes. And this is the screen I get, and it looks like a clean slate right here. We're going to start off with something real simple. We're going to go in and find uh, English 1301. Now, when we get here, you're going to notice there is a link that talks about or shows view available sections. Now, to not overwhelm you with all of the sections for English 1301, or even if you just typed in English, E-N-G-L, or spelled out English, uh, you might get English 1302 and then other uh, courses in the E-N-G-L discipline. So what we can do is we can filter some things out. We can say, for example, for English, we might decide let's choose Kingsville. Of course, we want spring of 2019. You can even uh, filter it down to the day of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, down to instructors. And this particular one, I'm going to view available sections here. And we have one right here. Monday, Wednesday, Kingsville site, Mr. Lewis Hymas. We're going to add section to schedule. You get some information here that's important. Email address to the professor, instructor. Now, be uh, aware of the TSI requirements uh, in English 13 and 1, reading or writing or completion of C or better in IRW 0312 and so on. There's even a course description and also a link to the bookstore information where you can purchase your book. We're going to go ahead and add this section. At the top right, it'll say English 1301072 has been planned. It has been planned. It has not been added, but and so what I'm going to do now immediately is over on the left side, it says back to plan and schedule. And this is what it looks like. So we have ourselves a class here from 1230 to 150, Monday, Wednesday in Kingsville with Mr. Lewis Hymas. So you saw how I added a class right here using my search for courses. Let's try something a little bit differently now. Over on student planning, we're going to drop down the menu and we're going to go to course catalog. And we're going to type in the subject, and perhaps this time we want to go with history. And as I start typing, the filter takes effect, and here is history. And I want to be uh, specific about, once again, the filter. I can I click on the term. Maybe I only want 
Monday, Wednesday. We'll choose Mr. Blibdry. We're going to view available sections. And we have a class right here. We have several that we can choose from. Now, the cool thing about this student information system and self-service is it will uh, give you a visual if there are any time conflicts. And being lazy myself, I'm going to probably just pick the very first one. We're going to add select section to schedule. It says this section is full. So I am going to close this one. We're going to roam down a little bit further. This is a two-way interactive video, which is a video conferencing section. And we're going to go ahead and add this section. Once again, it talks about the TSI requirement. Reading must be completed prior to taking this course. Course description, bookstore information. Let's add this section. Once again, now at the very top right, it says History 1302, and then the Section 069 has been planned. I'm going to go right back to Back to Course Catalog on the left side. And you can see right here that I do have that course scheduled there. It is a 530 class uh, ready to go right there. I'm going to go back over here. There's a number of ways you can get back to where you are. Uh, you can go to plan and schedule. Again, this little button that's red always takes you back to give me this visual because I like to see uh, my uh, calendar view. And also, I'm able to manipulate the... Uh, these courses over here on the left side. Notice that everything is in yellow right now, and that means that the courses have been planned. They've not been uh, registered for, and that's very important because that allows us then to plan even for the fall of 2019. That's why it says it's, it's this is a, a, a video I'm doing in, in Christmas of 2018 or nearby, but uh, it can be used uh, whenever you need to use it. And so now what we can do is we can now go up here and register now, uh, remove planned courses, or I can do one by one if you want to would prefer that. I'm going to go ahead and register for the English class. And it turns green, and then I'm going to come down here and do this one, only because I just want to do one by one. I'm going to register for this one. And this will turn uh, green as well. And there you see that I have my schedule for the spring of 2019. Now, it doesn't mean I'm done, but that does give you an indication of how to add the classes. Now, keep in mind that we could have dropped a class right here. We can drop a class if we need to. Um, so let's drop this one. And we'll do update. Again, they, it, it, they're planned now. It kind of went down to the plan level. And if I want to remove it from the plan, I can hit the little X over on the left side under English 1301 and remove it. And it leaves me with one class. So it's a quick example of how I added two classes. I had them planned. I registered for them. I dropped it, putting it back to the plan state. And then I removed the plan course. And this is what I'm left with. Uh, obviously, this is just uh, one or two courses that I've used as an example, but uh, hopefully this will help you. Uh, if we close this tab right here, that does still put you back at the Cougar Den. Remember, the student self-service on the right side is what uh, where you go to get all your information. And again, uh, these uh, videos and instructional guides will change uh, as need be, as again the interface changes in one semester, uh, we added uh, these these links. Let me show you real quick. Uh, we added the the student finance. Uh, the last time I did the video, there were just three buttons. We keep adding um, more, and we'll get to a point where we'll stabilize a little bit. Of course, grades uh, that's your tab when you want to go check all your grades at the end of the semester. So hopefully this helps, and you all have a great upcoming semester, whatever semester that is. This video goes and makes it till the spring of 21, 2021. That'll be great. If not, uh, our videos will be updated uh, as needed. Thank you so much, and. And uh, Coastal Bend College uh, always remembers success happens here.